What's going on everybody? We thought now's the perfect time to do a quick update on the mausoleum build. We've been working <laughs> a lot. Lots of painting, <laughs> oh lots of God. sanding. You guys, I feel bad. Gina has just been like building her arm muscles up, like rolling yeah. and painting. <laughs> and there's, you know, there's 20 pieces so far. That, you know, when this is all said and done, there's gonna be 24 pieces that make up the mausoleum structure. Why would we do that? Well, we wanted to make it really easy for them to take apart and set up and store, the make it modular, can build this thing like Legos, basically. So just like all the other things that we fiberglassed in the past, once we got all the foam work done, we covered everything with uh, tin foil using just the wallpaper glue or the spray glue. Yeah, this time we used. Uh, I had a bunch right? of cans of the um, what are the 3M like the, the the spray adhesives. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta use this stuff up. It's been sitting in here for years, and it works great. I found a couple of cans of the spray adhesive in the garage, and I shot that on the foam. Worried about it melting, it didn't melt, and man, the foil stuck so nice to it. It was like, wow, this is the way to go. It might be a little bit more expensive than buying the big jugs of the wallpaper glue, but way faster, worked way better, <laughs> so I went with it. Then after all the foil was on, we fiberglassed. In the past, we've done like four to six ounces. This time, we just did one layer because we knew that we were gonna shoot it with mortar. I know some people had asked about our fiberglassing process. I think we showed pretty good detail of how we do it in one of our He-Man yes. videos, right? In the Castle Grayskull. Yeah, so we'll link that in the description sure. so you guys can go check that one out. Yeah, it's like a hard coating foam. I think it's labeled hard coating foam uh, with fiberglass or something like that. But yes, we'll put the links in below. Any of the bricks that look like this rough texture, because we knew that if we fiberglass that it's gonna cover up all the pits and stuff that make this thing look stone. Uh, so we decided to use uh, epoxamite, which uh, it's an epoxy smooth on. resin. Yeah, smooth on. And you guys, you know, there's so many ways that we have done hard coating stuff, but a lot of times we just stick with what we know works. And because we're in a hurry and stuff, we just continue to do this. But we'd love to try some other products. Yeah, out expand there, our knowledge for yeah, stuff. Speaking yeah. of which, we actually have kind of a secret to reveal to you guys. <laughs> We use dry lock for, for the, the first, first time. time project, yeah. <laughs> and you know that stuff actually, I do like the way it seals and it doesn't scrape off. Uh, we yeah, did, it's really good. Yeah, Gina, I, we kept stirring it and stuff, but we we were having problems like kind of keeping the sandy textures consistent. She was painting all the decks and a couple of the walls, and what we found out is that like there's like sandy patches and stuff. So I don't know if we were doing it right, but. Hey, it works really good. That stuff is pretty It does awesome. not come off, so no, it no. was really good. I'd like to try it on some foam, like straight yeah. up foam to yeah. dry lock, not anything I, else. I had a test piece. Oh, you did? That. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's actually not hard. It's, it's, it has like a... Um... Hi guys, um, hey. This is our little kindergartner. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Oh, son. I actually did try a test piece with the dry lock. You didn't share with me? I thought I did. I thought what? I showed it to you. You did not yeah. keep it secret. <laughs> what, Look I at found you. Out, what I found out though was that uh, it doesn't actually make it hard per se, but it does act as a, like a protective skin. I can still squish it. Um, and I can see how it's definitely better than just leaving it bare foam or just paint too, you know? So we're definitely going to use it in the future, right, Gina? I don't know. I'm sitting here now. I'm questioning our whole relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but another thing I was doing with it, just for the heck of it to try, is in the past I've just taken uh, the mortar, the, this particular mortar is the Flex Bond, um, and just shot it on with a hopper gun. But I thought, you know, I'll mix a little bit of that dry lock in there and that'll add some adhesiveness to the mortar. And so I just tried it. I don't know if it did anything, but we'll uh, we'll see. In the future, though, like I've also used stucco and all lots of like other things, but this mortar seems to be working. And then Gina is coating it with uh, uh, just some exterior uh, latex paint. This is our base coat. Yeah. We got the base coat all finished, and so her next step, once she gets all the pieces done, is to start aging it, which will be in the next video, of course. But we just wanted to show you guys. Just give you an update. I know I just blasted your ears out with lots of talking. 
You know, I was thinking that this wasn't going to be too awfully hard to do, but man, it was time consuming. And I still didn't fill in all of the cracks and holes in there. Yeah. You know, this piece was a lot of work. She also painted all the backsides of all these flats black. And I think she got pretty much everything done with the exception of some of these pillars. There's a couple of them that I'm just going to mix some uh, black paint and a gun and shoot in there because it's just too hard to get in there with rollers and stuff. I actually forgot to, a lot of the edges and stuff I wanted to take down so it wasn't so perfectly square. I had forgotten to do those. Oh, you did it already. Yeah. You there, talked, you talked. <laughs> there's a lot of things that I forget to do because I walk away. And, and, You're so funny. And then you I'm said, like, I'm, I'm not, not going to do, do it. it. I'm not gonna and do now it. look at, I'm like, it looks, oh, I got to paint that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wah, wah, wah. Now, one of the things with using fiber, now this thing's rock hard. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really hard coated. Uh, but one of the uh, disadvantages or the things that you sacrifice by using fiberglass is all of my areas where we chipped it up and made it look broken. It kind of has like more of a curvy or rounded uh, edge, but we can add like either airbrushing or aging to bring back some of those busted up highlights. Oh yeah, this is yeah. gonna get a makeover of aging and it's gonna look yeah. so good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, at least I'm I sure. hope it does. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find <laughs> out. But there's a lot of painting to do. Um, Gina's gonna finish priming everything and then, um, or giving the base coat, I should say. And then we're gonna get this thing together and then we'll, we'll send out either a picture on our Instagram or do another video update. But uh, then she's gonna take her time just doing some aging and stuff. I still have to make a couple ceiling panels and do the door. So I haven't made the door. Yeah. Oh, good job. What do you got there? A pumpkin. What did you do? You carved a bell pepper? That is awesome, son. Dang, did you just bust that out? Yeah. Since we don't have pumpkins in the store yet, we do have <laughs> orange bell peppers. That oh, looks great, Harrison. That is so yeah. awesome, son. So I want to talk about it for one minute right now. Yeah, how'd you do it? So, I, I bought a bell pepper if you want to see it. Okay. From the store. I do. Mommy, can we get this? Sure, baby. <laughs> you reenacting, <laughs> buying it. <laughs> All right. I took the bell pepper. I washed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this cap doesn't want to go on. Did you take out the seeds? I took out. I scooped out some of the seeds. I couldn't get all of them, but and then I carved the face. Now what are we gonna do? That's nice. Are we gonna yeah. put some cucumbers in there and have some dip? Yeah, we're gonna fill this with sour cream. And then we're gonna have like sour cream falling out oh. like a pumpkin. Whoa! Pumpkin. That's what I was really. <laughs> that's why. That was I was trying to make one. I love it, honey. I think everybody else loves Pukey it too. Dip. That's so awesome, son. Yeah, I can't believe you did that whole thing with a gold. butter knife. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were gonna kill it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you want to watch that tonight? Yeah. Hey, it's never too early to watch The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. We just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, thank you so much for all your kind comments on some of the videos that we've been posting. We really appreciate that, you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, take care. Bye. Five little pumpkins sitting on a fence. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one says... There are witches in the air. The third one says, but we don't care. The fourth one says, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, and go and have some fun. Then woo went the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. <laughs>